APC National Youth Leader sets agenda for new ministers of youth development. I am Bola Hoba and this is Plus Politics. The youth wing of the All Progressive Congress, APC, says great exploits are expected from the new Ministers of Youth Development. Dr. Jamila Ibrahim and the Minister of State for Youth, Mr. Yodili Olawande, Dayo Israel, the National Youth Leader of APC, said this in Lagos in a congratulatory letter to the duo. Israel assured the new Ministers of Necessary Support from the APC Youth Wing to help them achieve their goals and aspirations. Joining me to discuss this is Dayo Israel, National Youth Leader of Progressive Congress. Dayo, it's a pleasure having you guesting on the show virtually today. Thank you very much. It was really great to be here. And it's good to see your face after a long while, Mr. Bolava. We don't want to go. We, we really don't want to go into the history of how <laughs> some 25, 26 years ago we we told together in London, England. Absolutely, and Ben TV, the great exploit you did in the UK. I, I must congratulate you, and I must also uh, celebrate the goodness of the Lord upon your life. You really come very far from that youth. That idealistic, creative, value innovative youth that you were, even as in those days in your teenage years, you were you were youth leader in a community in the UK diaspora, especially in the Greater London area. Congratulations! Absolutely, sir. Absolutely, we're grateful to God. Okay, uh, there is business to be attended to, and in a way, you are. One of those that your colleagues, the youth, 60% plus of the population of Nigeria will look up to at this juncture in our history. What is your pitch to those watching now who may not be members, the youths watching now who may not be members of your party, but who are somewhat distraught, disillusioned, and a bit feeling disenfranchised? What would be your pitch, your starting pitch? Um, I, I, I think that um, the young people of Nigeria, either you're obedient or batified or um, articulated, um, must understand and realize that the times of politics are over and it's now time for governance. And the focus of the administration of Ashiwa Jibola Abetinubu, His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of, of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, is to ensure that we can create more jobs for young people in Nigeria. We can drive the numbers of unemployment, the percentage and the data, drive them down so much through job creations in the public sector, in the private sector, um, by empowering young people to become entrepreneurs and successful one of that, investing in young businesses across sector, agri sector, um, financing tech sector, technology, and all of that. You will see what, for example, the Minister of um, Digital Economy and Communication, you will see what he has done recently. What the minister had done recently was to be able to um, introduce new programs that would create jobs for young people. Um, so um, there are jobs in tech, there are jobs in IT that are being created by this administration. There are a lot of other opportunities that the um, Tinubu administration is providing for young people. I would originally have thought that uh, the Minister of Digital uh, communication is at this juncture emphasizing training before creating jobs or before and holding people into job opportunities. So I hope you're not conflating the facts as they are now. Training is different from skills, empowerment 
is different from enterprise empowerment. Would you agree with me? So there are, few, there are different phases of the government's intervention. So human capital development is one area. Building capacities of those that want to be entrepreneurs in the digital economy space. That's one area. Building capacities of SMEs to be able to also run successful businesses is another area. And also funding startups is another intervention of the government. And I'm aware, uh, by the grace of God, that there are other ministries, including the Ministry of Trade and Investment, that are, going to, that are driving um, projects and programs for young people that would help to fight poverty, tackle inequality, and give them an opportunity to have the economic power to keep their family and support their loved ones. Uh, but in addition to that, my letter two days ago was to encourage and congratulate the newly appointed ministers of youth and minister of state for youth um, to encourage them because they sit um, on the threshold of history. They are the cuffs of history to be part of the youngest set of ministers in the history of Nigeria, uh, in particular to man the Ministry of Youth. And um, the goal is to encourage them to let them know that where they're there to represent the interests of the entire young populace of Nigeria, the entire young people of this country, and that we believe in them, we're praying for them, and we're anticipating their success. And to let them understand that we are ready, starting from myself as a national youth leader, to give them every support they may require and to be able to help them to perform uh, with the resources of young people that are available to them. Paul says something, I think it's April 12th. He said, we have surrounding us a cloud of witnesses and it's to remind the excellences, the ministers of youth, that they are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses of young people who are looking forward to their success, who are expecting their performance, and who are available to support them to achieve their potential and their promise to Nigerians. Given what I know to be your antecedents, I, I must say that when I read the when I read the letter, I was not quite I felt it was a bit platitudinal. And you know why I'm saying that? Because I know that you are a person of ideas. I was hoping, when I started reading it, I was hoping that you were going to be trading some fantastic policy ideas with the, with the honorable ministers that at some point in the letter, inevitably it had to be congratulatory, but uh, I felt you could have punched better in the direction of ideas, especially policy ideas, given the situation of the country now, particularly the situation of youths in Nigeria. Am I, was I over, over expecting, or why did you just structure it to be that platitude now? Um, it, it, you know, in life there are processes and there are phases and stages. The reality is that, uh, the letter wasn't meant to be all like, exhaustive, but the, the letter was important to assure Nigerians that the party's youth wing has given the ministers their total support and that were standing by them. We intend to then take that beyond the face of the letter into practical, physical engagement uh, uh, on supporting the ministers on policy ideas and policy. And that's why... The second to the last paragraph of the letter, you know, offered the services, uh, the the experiences, you know, that we have and we're willing to, you know, share with them uh, if they do desire to engage uh, and all of that. So, you know, part of what the letter said was that, you know, starting from myself as a national youth leader, that even before, as you alluded earlier, that, you know, there's over 20 years of extensive cognitive experience in youth development that we can provide advice from uh, to the ministers. And also there are a lot of other young people across the country who share, you know, great ideas that we're happy to arrange with the ministers to be able to also pick their brain and engage in their vision. Uh, uh, let me, let me re rephrase or reframe the last question in another way uh, uh, possible now. When I was reading 
the letter, I was feeling that the Dayo had always known, and you know, I have a rich history of this person, that Dayo I have always known more than two decades now, would be, would be going in the direction of maybe organizing like you did during the electioneering campaigns, like you did in Ibadan, like you did in Abuja, brought youths together from all over Nigeria, and I was thinking maybe at some point I'll see something that I'll say, we will do zona, geopolitical zonal youth uh, confabulations or conferences or s sessions that these ministers will come and pitch ideas, policy ideas to the youths and see how some from the private sector and indeed from the social enterprise sector can work uh, collaboratively with the government to help bring many of their colleagues who, and you know many are disillusioned, who can be given, who can leverage the traction that people like you have to harness the opportunities that the president may have. I, I, was I over expecting you know, something from, from you or was it just my close knowledge of you that may have... Um, that, that may have been troubling, troubling my head? Um, those are going to happen. But at this phase, the focus is to um, allow the ministers settle in in their different roles and understand the office and strategize and agree on their modes of operation. At that phase, we would be able to now come and engage the, the excellencies, the other ministers, and share ideas with them, and also open up programs that you know we can engage them to participate in. So, to uh, in to all intent and purpose, they are part of our party. They are youth in our youth wing. As a matter of fact, the minister herself is one of the members of the APC youth wing, and the junior minister, which is the minister of state, is one of my state youth leaders, uh, who was the state youth leader of Ondo State APC youth wing. Um, so they are people, and we want them to settle in and then see how we begin to engage with them post-confirmation uh, uh, and uh, swearing in that happened two days ago. Fantastic. Okay, uh, let me go in another direction now. Uh, and I really don't want you to feel like uh, a bongbola is hounding me now. Why is a bong? But I, I think an opportunity like this uh, should trade on what has always uh, made the two of us to be close, and that's ideationing, uh, value innovation. I am thinking, and this is just thinking aloud now, I'm thinking somebody who is fortunate, divinely blessed to be in the position where you are now, should also be, uh, should also be working on an infrastructure uh, within the party and indeed beyond to collect ideas from from the youths and find a way of piping those ideas to to our cabinet members why am i thinking about that it's easy look uh, it's easy to for somebody like you to connect with people who constitute more than 60% of the Nigerian electorate, indeed the Nigerian population, and when you connect, you, you can easily design where the shoes, where uh, the, the shoes are pinching them, and also find a way of channeling, uh, channeling some of these ideas, a kind of feedback me me mechanism, infrastructure. What do you think about that? I absolutely, I agree with you. Um, and those are some of the things that would also unfold. Um, one thing to also recognize is, are some of the limitations of my office. So, for example, um, as national leader of the party, the priority is on the youth of the party, while the minister's focus is more of the use of the country. Uh, so, of course, uh, they overlap because we also have, you know, a lot of the, the party 
the government belongs to the party. Um, it's a, so you hear the APC led administration, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, and also to the to, uh, the party level, we don't have the kind of resources that the government has. So many of these ideas that you've talked about to champion, the, at the moment, I would say the party doesn't necessarily have the resources to be able to, to fund those ideas. Um, so, but we're hoping that with collaboration from the government, the government can take the lead in that area because it has the resources, it has the manpower, it has civil servants and officials and stuff to drive some of those ideas. And we would want to usurp their own authority of power, their responsibility. What The role that we want to play is to provide technical support, to provide lead, you know, guidance, to provide um, encouragement and to fulfill their mandate to the Nigerian people. Uh, Dayo, I, I think you may, you may be overplaying the humility card or you deliberately want to be somewhat circumspect maybe because I'm not an APC partisan, but I would ordinarily have thought that your position, just like the position of the national uh, leader, uh, just like the position of the national chairman of your party, your position is so strategic that there is no APC state today that you get to and you have a program that the government of that state may not likely be shaking you. I, I'm just thinking aloud now. I don't know how these things work. Um, I've never been a partisan. But, be, but, you know, I think I should use this platform to also, you know, um, clear that. Um, that perhaps would have been uh, an ideal, but that may not be the current realities. And of course, that ideal comes with a lot of pressure on my person as well. I see people who say to me, oh, you have governors funding you, you have governors, you know, you have all the resources. But the reality is that my office doesn't even have an impress, a running cost, per diem, or a subvention. And so you, you ha uh, for me, I think the approach has been to work within your means and then to, to leverage on relationships. Um, and the main goal is that the government has um, the primary responsibility. Uh, yes, because as you know, over the years, I've, this has been my forte, even outside of government, in driving youth inclusion and youth development. Um, but at this stage, uh, the goal is also to support the government to do its job and to be effective in delivering service to the Nigerian youth. Okay, uh, to be honest with you, I quite, uh, I quite understand the, the picture you have painted now, uh, and I know that uh, sometimes uh, those of us, you know, the, the Afenua motors, those of us who, who drive Rolls Royce with our mouths instead of uh, being behind the steering, we sometimes romanticize uh, the opportunities and the privileges available to, to people like you, uh, but in view of the reality, you know, the, the portraiture of the reality you just painted now, it may not be that easy. But I haven't said that. I said, and maybe this is unfair to you, I said the Dayo I know is somebody that will think outside the box. And the, and the Dayo I know is, you know, is somebody who ordinarily, ordinarily, even within the context of the, uh, of the sobering circumstance, can value create, challenge, you know, let me challenge you at this juncture. Give me one or two ideas that Nigerians, apart from even APC youth partisans, that Nigerians can be looking up, up to in the next couple of, you know, weeks, months, uh, from from somebody as influential as you? I, I, absolutely. I think part of the thing that um, we want to focus on at the level of the party um, is to be able to help um, more young people get value for their citizenship of Nigeria. And from the level of the party, for example, we're launching our e-membership program for the APC Youth Wing. And it, it, it's, uh, we already opened our website, um, www.joinapc.ng. Um, I think it's oh, so the you, you will pay for that advice. <laughs> I apologize for that. But the goal is that um, being a member of an, a political party, for example, should be beyond just election. 
you should be able to, for example, as a member of our youth wing of our party, be able to walk into a restaurant with your membership card because we have a relationship with that restaurant or perhaps because the, the owner of that restaurant is a member of the APC and you can just present your card and get a discount. You can do that in a salon, at the airport, in the lounge there and stuff like that. So we're trying to build partnerships with businesses, with uh, organizations who are willing to work with us to ensure that you know, young people can actually, you know, it helps you survive even in this current economic situation that is not just peculiar to Nigeria, but going on across the globe. For us also at the party level is to complement the effort of the government and the Ministry of Youth at the government level to create a lot of empowerment programs for young people, to build capacities of young people and connect them to opportunities in government. So we can say, Ministry of Mining, what are the programs you have that are youth-related? And then we can connect our young members to be part of that. Ministry of Youth, um, these are some ideas that we have. Let's collaborate together and provide these services to our young people because after all is said and done the real value of government must be that it is helping people to have a better life and quality life and are happy to become citizens you know value-driven governance and that's what the APC administration under Bola Metinobu wants to offer young Nigerians just about when you start sounding like the Dayo had always known uh, the little Hitlers in the in the back room are telling me that about time we ended it. Urique, sorry about that. You know, Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate, Thank you so I really appreciate engaging with you. I really appreciate the fact that uh, you are still as intellectually solid. Your intellectual persona is as still is still as solid as I'd always known you. I wish you all the best in your. Thank you very much. In your uh, endeavors. We go for a short break now. And when we're back, we do... Let's go for a short break.